Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Slideshows are a fun way to share your photos with others. You can add text, interesting transitions, and audio files to make a truly impressive presentation. The first step is to create a project file in the slideshow editor. So within the organizer, select the pictures that you want to add to your slideshow. Then click the Create button that appears in the shortcuts bar and choose the Slideshow command from the drop-down menu to launch the Slideshow Preferences dialog box. Here you would make any changes to the initial settings that are shown and then click the OK button to launch the Slideshow Editor. Now you have several optional effects that you can add to create your slideshow. As you make the changes, you can use the control buttons that appear underneath the preview window to play, pause, and view individual slides within your presentation. The buttons at the top of the window allow you to save the project to a location of your choice, Output the slideshow, which we will discuss in the next lesson. Add media to the slideshow, such as other photos or audio files. Add a blank slide to the slideshow. Add text to the currently selected slide. Or view your presentation in full screen preview. If you view it in the full screen preview and you want to exit out, simply press the escape key on your keyboard while viewing it in full screen. To add an audio file, click the Add Media button and then choose the Audio from Folder or File command and navigate to your audio file, select it, and then click the Open button. To add a blank slide, simply click the Add Blank Slide button. If you want to delete a selected slide, choose the slide within the storyboard at the bottom of the window and then choose Edit from the menu bar within this window and then the Delete command or right click on the slide and then choose the Delete Slide command. To add text to a selected slide, you can simply click the Add Text button at the top of the window and then type the text that you want to have appear within the Edit Text dialog box and click the OK button. Alternately, you can click the text button that appears within the Extras pane and click and drag a font choice shown in the top of the pane onto your slide. Then click the Edit Text button in the Properties section and type the text that you want to display. Then click the OK button to set that text. Note that you can click and drag the text box where you would like it to appear within the slide. If you have the proper microphone on your computer, such as a headset, you can also add narration to your slideshow. To do that, you can click the audio button in the extras pane. Then click the Record button and record your audio file, and then press the Stop button when you're finished. Now if you select a slide within the storyboard, then in the Properties pane you can change the background color of that slide by using the Background Color button to choose a background color from the Color Picker. Note that you can also adjust the amount of time that slide will be displayed by using the Duration drop-down. For a selected slide, if you enable the Pan and Zoom feature by checking the Enable Pan and Zoom checkbox, you can then click the Start thumbnail and use the four corner handles that appear within the bounding box in the preview window to set the size that you want it to appear 
when you initially enter the slide within Slideshow. You can then click on the End preview and set the bounding box to the size that you want it to be at the end of the transition. Also remember you can watch your creation at any time by simply clicking the Play button. If you don't like what you've done, you can click the thumbnails again and resize accordingly. Note that you can also change the order of the slides, if you wish by using the Slide Order drop-down just below the Properties pane. If you select Custom, you can simply click and drag the slides to reorder them. You can also choose an order from the drop-down based on date. Within the storyboard, you will see the slides separated by transitions, which appear as small squares to the right of the slide. Normally, a default transition of fade is applied. You can change the transition between any two slides, or all of the slides if you wish. To do this, click the small right pointing arrow next to the transition icon, and select any of the transitions, or none if you prefer. Once a transition is applied, if you click the Apply to All command at the top of the pop-up, Elements will apply the transition to your entire slideshow. If you elected to add an audio file to your presentation, but the sound file length doesn't quite match the visual part of your presentation, you can click the Fit Slides to Audio button to sync the two together. Alternately, you can manually adjust the time of individual slides by changing the duration of each slide's viewing time by using the down pointing arrows that appear underneath each slide within the storyboard. After you've made your modifications and you're pleased with the results by viewing them within the preview of the editor, you can save your project by clicking the Save Project button at the top of the editor. Type a name for the slideshow into the dialog box and then click the Save button. You can edit your presentation later or export it as we will learn to do in the next lesson. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.